Hello everyone and welcome to this learning video where we are going to see how to form the partial differential equations. Okay, so the formation of PD, so this formation of PD is done in two ways. One is by eliminating, by eliminating arbitrary constants and the another way to form the partial differential equation is to eliminate the arbitrary arbitrary functions from the given equation or relation okay and by eliminating the arbitrary constant and arbitrary functions we are going to find the we are going to form the partial differential equation in this learning video what we are going to see is we are going to see the formation of formation of PD by eliminating arbitrary constant and in the very uh, next video we will see how to eliminate arbitrary constant to get the uh, partial differential equation. So without much ado let us take an example. So the problem will be like uh, or question will be like form the PD by eliminating by eliminating arbitrary constant arbitrary constants from the following okay arbitrary constants from the following from the following so number one z is equal to x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square Second one, let me write it here. Second one is uh, z is equal to ax plus by plus a square plus b square. Third one is z is equal to ax plus by plus ab. Okay, so we are given some equation and we have to form the uh, partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant. So what are the arbitrary constants? A and B are the arbitrary constant. So let us take a first problem which is uh, like z is equal to x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square. Okay. Whenever uh, you are forming or whenever you are doing the uh, differentiation in uh, this topic so let me tell you there are two independent variables namely x and y so when you are differentiating with respect to x take y constant and when we are differentiating with respect to y take x constant so you can write here differentiating partially with respect to x and y we get so this this word is very important partial okay so first I am going to differentiate with respect to x so what is it del z by del x is there a term of x yes so I am going to write 2 times x minus a into derivative of x minus a is 1 minus 0 plus is there a term of x no so derivative is 0 so what I get del z by del x do you do you remember it what is the what is the notation for this del z by del x is equal to 2 times x minus a do you remember the notation del z by del x so that is p okay we can write that is p by 2 is equal to x minus a <coughs> likewise now differentiate with respect to y del z by del y is there a term of y no so I am going to write here it is 0. Is there a term of y? Yes. So I am going to write 2 into y minus b into 1. Okay. So this can be written as del z by del y is equal to 2 times y minus b. Do you remember what is this? This notation is nothing but q. So I can write q by 2 is equal to y minus b. Okay. Now 
uh, we have to we have to make the partial differential equation by removing the arbitrary constant so this constant is attached with x and y so what we can do think over it you can pause the video if you take lots of time so just pause the video and come with your answers so I hope you might have uh, made the decision like uh, we can substitute x minus a and y minus b as p by 2 q by 2 in this equation and we'll get the partial differential equation. So say this is to be equation a. So I can write a implies what is it? z is equal to what is x minus a p by 2. So this is p square by 4 plus what is y minus b q. So this is q square by 4 because it is square. So p square by 2 whole square is p square by 4 and q by 2 whole square is q square by 4. So this can be written as 4z is equal to p square plus q square. Okay. This is the required partial differential equation for this equation. Now if you are not getting the filling of partial differential equation, you can write like, you can write like that is del z by del x whole square that is p square plus del z by del y whole square is equal to 4z. So this is the required partial differential equation for this equation. Okay. Now uh, from 2 or 3 at least I think I can solve 1 and rest you can solve. So I am going to solve one more problem and the remaining problem you can solve at home. <clears throat> so which problem you want me to solve? So going with the flow 1, 2, 3. So I am solving 2. So let z is equal to x plus by plus a square plus b square. Okay. So we have to form we have to form a partial differential equation so just write uh, differentiate differentiate partially with respect to x and y we get so what we get this is like del z by del x so what is del z by del x yes derivative of z with respect to x is there a term of x yes so a derivative of x is 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 these are constant and so we are getting this to be a very simple so don't think like this is very simple that's why sir is taking <laughs> if you solve the third problem that is the easiest one that is again the easiest one So next is del z by del y. So del z by del y is no term of x, uh, no term of y. So 0 plus b derivative of y is 1 plus 0 plus 0 because these are constant. So we are getting it to be b. Okay. So we are getting the values of a as del z by del x. You can write that is del z by del x means p is equal to a and del z by del y means q is equal to b. You can put equation a or oh sorry equation 1 imply z is equal to what is this a a is p. So you can write x p plus y q plus a square means p square plus b square means q square. Again I am saying if you are not getting a filling of uh, partial differential equation you can write like that is z is equal to x del z by del x plus y del z by del y plus plus del z by del x whole square plus del z by del y whole square and you, if you want you can write this is the required this is the required partial differential equation okay so i hope you have got the things that i wanted you to uh, in this through with uh, through this uh, video lecture so i think you can now able to 
form a partial differential equation from any given equation or a relation. So thank you for watching this learning video.